What's up, what's up, everybody? Third live arena test service, World Arena! Finally, we could watch the global server get destroyed by all of the Asian servers. Really, though, we watched the global server get completely demolished. Uh, you know Asia and China and Korea are all really strong, right? Like, you think about the global server, you're like, well, global server is the biggest... Yeah, but it's got a lot of free to break players, and <laughs> the other ones are really, really strong. So that'll be fun to compete in. Uh, plus, it's live arena. All right, so not my favorite, because you know me, me and my like what five, six net fives. Yeah, let me let me get right on being the best at that one. Uh, so beginners, how many now? Beginners, how many? That's the one I'll be getting. All right, so let's check out what's going on in Live Arena. Uh, the biggest change in the third Live Arena test service is now is the new World Arena content where players can battle against other players from all around the world. Now, here's my question. My first question is, isn't this going to make the lag even worse? Like, these guys must be... I guess this is what Comptos is spending all of their energy working on right now. Cause they're, and we're thinking about like, you know, I complain about, you know, the lack of new monsters that have been out. This is what they're putting all their time and energy into, because I guess they want it to be very competitive. Um, so, I guess that's why we're not getting any, oh, hold on, oh, let's, let's see what we get here. Yay! Yay, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing some actual gameplay while we go over these uh, developers' notes. So I guess they're doing this, and that's why they're not wor really working on new monsters, because they really want it to be a competitive thing. Uh, like, maybe even an eSport. That's what I'm thinking, that's the, where their mind is at, is that they want it to be an eSport. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. It's a... it's... The way the way the game is, and the fact that it's a mobile... The fact that it's a mobile game, I think there's, there's so many mobile games that are kind of... M more popular now that it's really not you can't say oh it's only a mobile game it's just a crappy mode there's a lot of really big complex mobile games summoners were being one of the bigger ones and more complex ones so i think it's possible that mobile games can be an esport uh, or can be in the esport scene but i don't i don't know that this live arena i don't i'm i'm still skeptical because we saw the we saw the um the live arena the first two and it was like yeah but people weren't really enjoying doing it right because this just takes a while and it's kind of whatever so let's see let's see and i feel like it might be even worse with the lag and the disconnections doing it across larger distances with multiple servers it's gonna be they must be working a lot on this that's all i gotta say uh, cause it's a big, it's a big thing, it's not really, it's kind of a daunting task. I wouldn't want to be on the dev team for this. Uh, currently some of is being serviced separately in a total of six servers, which we know. I thought that, what, what about the turkey server? There was not, it's delicious, I know. But there was supposed to be a turkey server that was coming out too. Uh, from the country. The new world arena, and it was, I mean, it was for the, basically for like the, the Middle East area. The new world arena content will allow all users from all servers to compete against each other. Several modifications will be made to the live arena service, so please read below for details. Our ranking guide is going to be changed. Now, instead of Guardian 3 being 30 players, it's 100 players. I actually, I think that they should do this for the normal arena too. I was thinking about it. I was like... There's so many, really, there's so many Guardian level players that are, if you're Guardian and don't do wings, you're in Conqueror 2. Because there's so many players that got so much stronger since the game has been around. It's basically, it's who has the right monsters and who has good enough runes. And there's so many players that are really pushing, really spending the money and grinding over and over and over again. That there's a lot of really good players that I think the, the number should be expanded. Um... From because this was this was a, these numbers have been around since the beginning, the Guardian three, Guardian two, Guardian one, so I think that they should be expanded. I think that this should carry over into normal arena too. But the reason that they're doing this, I understand the reason they're doing this is because they're doing this to accommodate for the fact that there's six servers now. It's going to be even with the with the expansion, it's still going to be much harder. Let's oh, let's get that one. Let's get that one, but it's going to be much harder to uh, to do that. 
to, to, to actually get into Guardian or Conqueror 3 or Conqueror 2 or Conqueror 1, you're going to see a lot of really good players that are like... Well, no, it's it's percentages. It's percentages, so that's fine. But you're going you're gonna to be like, oh, I can get into Guardian 3 in normal arena. And then, oh, GG. Well, you can get into like Conqueror 3 in, in this one. The World Live Arena. It's... It's gonna be crazy, guys. You are gonna see most of the Asia servers dominating the crap out of it. I know there's a lot of good players that, a lot of good players have been coming up through the ranks in global, but man, the Asia servers are gonna dominate it. I'm not even joking. They're just so, they've, there's a lot of global players that are not free to play, but they're like, oh, I spent a couple thousand dollars on the game. And then you go and you look at the, the players in the other servers and they're like, they summoners war is their life like they spend like hey i got my paycheck cool what's the rent what's left over that's for summoners war i don't need to eat we'll think about that next week like that's that's the mentality of a lot of these players are just nuts uh very pat no, i shouldn't say nuts very passionate so don't expect to see <laughs> we're yeah global players are going to get whoop up whooped up on the ranking grade of the third live service will be listed above and modified the yeah it's gonna we're gonna look like little noobs we are i want to see i want to see who's gonna rank high i really do because i think there's gonna be a lot of people that we don't even know right because you're if you think about like all the people that like that you see on my videos ydcb's videos maybe there's there's not so many europe um big europe youtubers there's a there's i mean there there are there are but there's not like a ton of them and there's not you you really don't know too many most of us don't really know the 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 top arena players in europe right but you usually know like you know the ones in global and you know the ones in asia a little bit so we're gonna see a lot of the a lot of the korean players a lot of the china players that no one's even heard of and they're like right there at the top and you're like who is this person that came out of nowhere they came out of nowhere for us, for most of us, but they have been they have been there for a long time. We just don't know who they are. Uh, so that'll be new to see what's going on. And they have different they have some different monsters. So their meta is a little bit different there. It's kind of fun. I mean it follows the same basic guidelines, but they're usually a little bit ahead of us too. So they're ahead of the global. Uh, so that'll be fun. So what do we have here? Oh, we have little flags for whatever country we're in. That's cool. Summoner and Summoner 2. Why didn't I try picking that as my username? Damn you. Modified UI. I just, the only thing I notice is the the flag, right? Alright. Summoner and Summoner 2. That Summoner 2 has got a <laughs> double, double cult girl account. Yeah. What a nice double beast monk, double cult girl. I want their, no I don't want their account. I, they don't have that much stuff, but... Yeah, because Comptos can just give themselves whatever they want. Uh, well, when they're testing it anyway. This is just for them. This is they're showing what they're testing. These aren't actual players you're going to play against. Obviously. Uh, world ranking with country info. Visit feature won't be available due to the change in the ranking system. Uh-oh, are we dying? In this rift? We're not dying. Uh, okay. This is going to be brutal, man. This is going to be really, really brutal. You're going to see... The visit would be nice. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, because I really want to see some of the runes on these craziness. But you can always, if you really want to see the runes, you can always go to the create accounts on other servers and see uh, see what they got. Stop, wow, what are you doing? So, you can, uh, you can check the top 100 on the other servers. I already have, that's what I've been, that's why I originally made my accounts on other servers, but time limit each turn will be modified from 15 seconds to 10 seconds we've decided to decrease the time limit so users can enjoy a battle at a faster pace okay that's nice please note this mod modification is not permanent there may be changes made after the service i don't know that might be hard because you guys sometimes you got to think about it right uh that's it for the modifications on the world arena keep reading blah blah we're currently preparing the official service of the world arena as the third test service will be our last test service 
we'll be adding a new speculate mode and a replay feature. That should be fun. The only thing is we're gonna so it's it's still gonna be dominated with these crazy Nat Fives. It's still gonna be dominated with the same monsters you see in the top tier in regular arena. Uh, but the only thing is now this is a, this is another problem that I have with live arena. For me personally, um, I don't have some of the Nat Fives that I need to be able to compete in live arena. I can counter things with Nat Threes and Nat Fours, but in live arena, they're counter picking what I'm picking too. So if I'm trying to counter them, they're trying to counter me. And Nat Fives are just, they're just stronger all around because they're Nat Fives they're supposed to be. So it really sucks for players like me that don't have a lot of Nat Fives. And I know a lot of you are going to feel the pain too. You're like, crap, this is for the people that just have a bunch of everything and have the runes to go for. Like, I can rune a bunch of stuff really well, but there's just some monster skills that are skills and base stats that are just better. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's some skills and base stats that are just better than others, and you take a team of three stars. In regular arena, you can take a team of three and four stars in and win against some powerful OP Nat 5s. But in live arena, they're countering everything you're countering, and it's about who has the better monsters. It really is. Better monsters, better runes, and... Yeah. Uh, so... Speculate mode and replay. How do I feel about the speculate mode? That should be breaking very soon as soon as, uh, as soon as I challenge YDCB to some battles. Oh, That will break the speculate mode. How's that? That will break the speculate mode. YDCB, I'm challenging. Uh, this is my official... Let me throw down the gauntlet. This is my official challenge to YDCB. But I can't do... Okay. You know what? Because he's going to be... He's just going to straight up beat me with his Nat 5s, right? So I'm either challenging you to... Random nonsense live arena or Where we just pick random monsters out of a hat or something and use them and have to use them or or Nat 3 net 2 and 3 only live arena What do you guys think what do you guys think in the comments below which one which one should it be which one should it be cuz I'm challenging you YDCB I see you there. I'm challenging you boy uh, That should be a fun one uh, so yes, that is my official gauntlet throwdown to YDCB. Uh, this will be fun. Replay feature to watch their friend or a top ranker play in live arena. You'll be able to cheer for your friends and also strategize your gameplay by watching others play. Oh, Baron has left the party. What a noob. What a noob. Uh, New World Arena reward. We haven't finalized our thoughts on the world. Uh, arena reward will give you a brief introduction about the reward. First of all, we're trying to avoid rewards with too much value because they might encourage users to forcefully play the live arena. Some players aren't in favor of playing the competitive PvP content. I love playing PvP, I just can't play some of it because of the monsters. I don't have. I still don't even have Theomars, damn it. Okay? <laughs> I'm limited. I'm limited. Even me, after almost three years, I'm still limited. Uh, creates a gap between those who play live arena and those who don't. There really isn't, I mean, you don't need to do well in regular arena to... to... to be competitive in the rest of the game either, though. I mean... You don't really need to, so I feel like... Yeah, we think that the reward should be attractive even if it, even if it might not be highly functional. So what, what does that mean? Even if it might not be highly functional. All the rewards you already give us are not highly functional. You mean the light dark three stars? Oh, joy. Uh, though it might sound conflicting, we're trying to come up with a reward that's special enough to encourage players who enjoyed live reading. So... So just... Cosmetic stuff? Maybe it's cosmetic stuff. Maybe they'll be talking about maybe new cosmetics from the crafting shop will be open, or like little statues, maybe trophies. Um, that, se that seems like what I would get out of that. We're trying our best to come, or, or something other cosmetic, maybe. Uh, secondly, or also there could be like, um, I know in different games there's like borders that you can have on your picture, on your icons. Uh, your player icons or whatever. So maybe they're doing something like that too. 
Uh, this way it's nice and pretty and you can look cool, but it's not like game breaking. So or I, I think that they might do something from the crafting shop because didn't didn't um, Castle Clash, Clash of Clans, do stuff like that? I don't I don't know. I didn't play too much Clash of Clans, but I played Clash of, Ca Castle Clash a little bit, and I think that they did stuff like that. I'm trying to I'm trying. It's been so long, but I'm trying to remember. Now we're trying to keep come up with our best because they already have they they did the crafting system. Maybe they had that in mind. Maybe they just came up with that. I don't know, but I think that they might do something like for the islands where you have special statues of whatever if you did uh, if you did things there. Uh, we're trying our best to come up with a special ward that can satisfy all users. Satisfying all Comptos players. <laughs> uh, all Summoners War players. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. It's... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, give us good summons and less violent procs on defense and fix accuracy and resistance official live arena will be operated in seasons we haven't decided how long each season should be however we're taking our time to go over this matter since it's closely related to the wards reward system there may be changes made if necessary so maybe i feel like it might be like three months isn't that the what you think about when you think seasons that would be that would be my first guess is three months because they did say seasons um otherwise they didn't say like monthly rewards so one month seems like it's too small for a season, but it could be one month. I don't know. It could be one month. Uh, closely related to the ward si reward system. I feel like that that would be the best. If they're just looking at cosmetics, then something from the crafting shop might be the way to go. This way you could have an island be like, look at all my stuff. And then a gold statue of like Annabelle on your island. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's that's it. That's my thoughts for the uh, the live arena. You know who I want to fight? Who do I want to fight? Of course, I gotta fight YDCB. Of course, because it's just gonna be fun. Um, and I know you guys want to see that. And who else do I want to fight? Cold Steel. I want to fight Cold Steel because the servers have been separated for so long. I really want to fight him. Cause I want, I want it, but it's live arena. He's gonna beat me. I know he is, but I wish it was regular arena. All right, and then well, who else? Who else? I don't know. Some a couple players on the Europe server, but there's a lot of really, really good players that uh, that I don't know, that none of us know, and it's gonna be really exciting to see. I hope that they change it and they actually add the ability to see their islands and how their monsters are ruined in that. Because they said they're going to maybe make changes and they're going to do modifications, but um, I really would love to see, to like go visit their islands. The visit feature won't be available due to change in the ranking system. I really, I really want to, I re I, that's one thing that I like to do. I like to visit uh, their islands to see what kind of, what kind of different rune sets they're using and why they might be using them. So. That's something I would love to see. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, but I don't know how much of this I'm actually gonna do because, again, like I said, I'm limited because I just don't have. I can blow money on the game and still not get the pulls. So, I mean, guys, it's not like it's not like I spent twenty dollars on Summoners War. I spent like much more than twenty dollars. Much more than twenty dollars on it. Um. I mean, I could have spent even more on it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll drop, like... The thing is, if I drop a few hundred dollars to try to get summons, to try to summon any Nat 5, I still won't get anything, so... That's pointless. So... I don't know. <laughs> Come to us, please. Buff your drop rates or something. Or be like, one Nat 5 guaranteed in every 250 summons. Do... That's it. I feel like... I, uh It's just so disappointing, cause, cause you know, cause you know, you don't want to summon anything after that. When you do like, when you pop 200, and you're like, I got, okay, it's mostly just three stars and like three four stars. How much did that cost me again? Oh, I should probably not do that again. And then we learn from our mistakes. You know, we make the mistake the first time, maybe two or three times, and then we're like, hold on, nothing's happening. Why well, can't keep throwing money at it? Cause nothing's happening. So. 
So yeah, maybe maybe the RNG will be on my side, and I'll get some things to be able to compete competitively in some of this higher level uh, content. I mean, like I can compete in a higher level arena, but that's just countering. It's basically just countering whatever their defense is. Saying like, okay, this is their defense. I'm going to use this to counter it. Here, you really the Nat fives are extremely strong, extremely extremely strong. So. So I think it's gonna... I think that's another reason that a lot of people haven't really uh, gotten into the live arena. It's not just... It's not just that, it's that you... Some monsters are just better. So you're like, if I don't have the stuff to, to, to choose from, why, why battle if it's predetermined... If the outcome is predetermined already by my summons, what's the point of battling? So that's, I, that's, I think, one of the things that I think maybe it's not what you think. Maybe I'm by myself there. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. But I'm excited and I'm gonna have to have some playtime with YDCV soon. So that should be fun. That's the thing I'm, I'm excited about the most. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you as always in the next one.